Now this is white, Arctic white. This is pearl white. Pearl white metallic is different, different. Kind of looks a little eggshell. Don't know if you can pick it up on the camera or not. Um, next to it, you can see a, a little bit of a different hue. It depends on what angle you're at. Um, but in the in the sunlight, you can clearly see that the 70th anniversary edition is a different color than the Arctic white. Not only that, there's some other differences. I mean, obviously the 70th anniversary edition is a is a 3LT. I mean, that's the only way that you could get it. Uh, this one happens to be uh, a Z51. Mag ride, no front lift, but a 3LT Z51. And this one is a 2LT Z51. The main difference between a, a 3LT and a 2LT is quite arguably just the interior. You don't get anything special performance wise or, or any other upgrade for that. Um, you know, three, four thousand dollar difference between a, a three LT and a two LT. But the majority of the time on a 3LT, you get the biggest thing that you get is the option for custom interiors. <laughs> Which is, of course, exactly what the 70th anniversary edition has. And... I told a lot of my friends, I told uh, Mike, well, Darren has one of these, but he has a, he has a convertible, uh, minus the coupe. So you can see the engine in the back. And I talked a lot about the, the interior color. It was, um, cause it reminded me of my, my Sebring orange, uh, vet and I had sky cool gray, but this is actually white leather. So this is not suede, um, you know, not fully suede. The, the little insert is a little bit of, uh, it's not, it's not actually suede anyway. Uh, the inserts is uh, perforated. That's for the, the heated and cooling seats. Um, two LTs have that too. So that's, that's not even a three LT thing, but just this color pattern and stitching and suede on the dashboard, suede in the entire cabin. Um, that and the white and black with the red stitching, you can only get that in the 70th anniversary edition. And that's also, you can only get that in a 3LT. Uh, the other 3LTs, can you can customize the inside so you can have like the, um, the yellow stitching or the red stitching. Uh, you can't get the suede, uh, you can't get the, the suede everywhere. Not the black suede anyway. But you can do, you know, you can do like the adrenaline red interior that will look sick on this too. Can't put my windows down yet. Just got, just got them like Lieutenant. Did my, I did my front too. Really, really, you really can't tell on the, you really can't tell on the, on the windshield. Um, but my windshield is, is tinted as well. So UV protection. Obviously. If you've been in been in Corvette, you know the hands, <laughs> the dashboard, one of your legs. <laughs> that sun beams down through the windshield, so you will <laughs> you will know, cause it definitely definitely gets hot. <clears throat> Everybody know I have to do my own thing, so mm. kind of going with a whole. Resident Evil inspired Umbrella Corporation Radioactive Punisher I think it's pretty cool uh, Also because it's red Red and black And then 
the contrast of the tires, which is more like a more like a gray. It's not it's not black with the with the red ring around it. And that's also 70th anniversary edition. Now you can order the 20 spoke with a 2023, um, but those would be uh, gloss black with the with the red ring around it. It won't be these. 70th anniversary badging. Yep, oh, I'm in the shadow. Yeah. 70th anniversary emblem. Of course, has the has the red seat belt. Right here on the little speaker. Another seventieth anniversary, and then in the back, the back glass, all of the twenty twenty threes. The other 2023s, um, they do have an emblem uh, in the glass on the ones that are non 70th anniversary edition. I'm still acting like it's brand new. I didn't even take the plastic off. Not yet, anyway. I wasn't sure how I was gonna how I was gonna like it, but I actually I actually do like it. The, the color is kind of starting to grow on me. It's starting to grow on me. Got the body match. Z51 spoiler. And this is the, a black top. This is actually, this is not a transparent top. This is a black top off of my other, uh, off my other C8. But I switch it out. Sometimes I put the transparent top on there, and uh, and of course the top is color matched too. But I just like it better with the with the black top on it. I got the transparent top on the two LT at the moment. But every everything else is you no, know, it's pretty much uh, it's pretty much the same. I did some modifications to to mine obviously I put my little stamp on it you know put my name on it you know, y and b yeah i had this made by a local uh, company that does a, a lot of work for uh me and my friends you could look them up scott solar spa in uh, arlington texas he does all of this kind of stuff uh, he did the full uh, graphics kit for the Sebring Orange 2020 that I had, the brand new one. Uh, he did a whole, a whole Punisher theme for me. <laughs> I just did this one. I just <laughs> I did that for Halloween. I just haven't took it off. I actually, <laughs> I actually like it. <laughs> But if I keep this one longer than a month or two, I'll get a whole um, custom vinyl kit made for this one as well. I stopped by a shop in Arlington uh, the other day and put in a, and put in an order for the, the whole vinyl kit in galaxy black and then reflective uh, pinstripes so it's going to look black in the daytime but then at night the outer pinstripes will look white kind of like it's glowing in the dark but we never know with me because With the reality that the Z06 actually happened, it's a real car that can that can be touched for a price. Don't know what I'll do just yet. 
Don't get me wrong. It's not like I could just walk in a dealership like I did with this one <laughs> and just buy it because it was already there. <laughs> you know, I know they have a lot of people that waited, you know, months and months and was on lists and all of that stuff. Um, I'm sorry. I apologize. But, you know, and it's not a it's not a um, it's not a what you know. You know what I'm saying? It's not a who you know. It's not it's not anything like that. Just it just happened, you know. It just happened. A little dealership, small dealership that I buy all my C8, C7 Chevrolet products from Lynn Smith and Burleson. Just so happens they had the order come in, and the order came in with. Uh, three or four vets that were, you know, pretty much already sold. Also, the the yellow two LT convertible that I uh, that I ordered that came in, but this was a stock unit, and it was with that order. So, just happened to be at the right place at the right time. So, so my friend bought the the yellow accelerant yellow. Convertible. Mm, I bought this. I mean, it kind of was always the, always the plan anyway. But I told, I told Darren, I told Mike too. I was like, if I do, I'm gonna order the competition seats just so I can get the black in the middle. And then I'm pretty sure that the black in the middle will be like suede and not leather. Um, but the white leather is actually not bad. It's kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of growing on me. But I am on the list for the 2025 or 2024 E-Ray, whatever, whatever, whatever year they they release that. So that's basically just the all-wheel drive version of this Corvette with this engine, and SEP is going to have uh, electric motors in the front, which is going to make this thing bananas because it's already a blast to drive. But I kind of got to have a decision to make. Because right now, I got two Corvettes in my driveway. And it's pretty cool. I mean, it's cool to have two Corvettes in the driveway. But do I need two Corvettes? No. You can only drive one at a time. And most of the time, I end up taking this one anyway. Uh, simply because this is an older one that has more miles on it. And if I do sell that one, then obviously by it being a, a 3LT 70th anniversary of 2023, the lower the miles, also the higher premium I can get. So it could be, you know, it could, it could be an investment. I know some people are doing that. Mm -hmm. Only thing I'm gonna do is sell it in order and get the the next thing that comes so pretty much gonna keep a corvette though um they don't have nothing else out there that that i really that i really want and don't get me wrong there are a lot of other a lot of other cars that are are faster more expensive or easier to easier to get but dollar wise bang for the buck uh, you can you cannot argue that a C8 Corvette is ahead of the game, and I know they try to compare it to a whole bunch of uh, other stuff, and then you know price points and all of that. And um, oh well, you can get a Hellcat, and a Hellcat is faster. Yeah, a Hellcat will, will outrun it. It'll run it down in the long run. Um, it'll have to come get it because. Everybody know Hellcats are notoriously famous for not being able to hook up on a dig. I mean, on a major, you know, on a prep surface, yeah, and a prep setup. But normally how you just out there riding and you pull up on somebody and somebody want to go, yeah. It's not, it's not, it's not going to happen. But here's the thing about Hellcats. And had a wide body, 
2021. It was purple. Yeah, it's fast. But guess what? We got 10,000 of them. <laughs> like, you're going to pull up at the light and, and you're going to see 15 challengers and, and chargers at the light. All of them may not be Hellcats, but the body style is exactly the same. So you really wouldn't know unless it had an exhaust on it, you know what I'm saying, or or emblems or a wide body would be all, used to be another giveaway of whether it was a Hellcat or not. And now that's not even the case because now they have scat packs with wide bodies. So anyway, it's too many of them. It's, it's entirely too many of them. So you look like everybody else. C8s are getting a lot of traction right now, but still don't have as many C8s out there as they do Challengers. So, but I must admit, uh, with, with Dodge doing the last year before they go to their EV and bringing back all of the uh, original colors that was uh, popular on that, I might have to, I might have to add a sublime green Hellcat to the inventory since this will be the last year to get it. But I still have a C8 too. But anyway, just outside, trying to decide which way I'm gonna start because I need to wash both of them. So, so I figure I'll make this little video. All right, I procrastinated long enough. Right. Time to go to work. Catch you later. Next time. Peace.